doubt. There is something cannot share my mind, my brain, cannot share my head, cannot share, cannot share my thoughts. It's doubt. Doubt, it is not allowed to be with me if I want something to be done. If you really want the plans that I have, my thoughts, my dreams to be realized, to become true, to be achieved, cannot allow to have doubt. Doubt is there to destroy us. Doubt is there to make us not to believe to make us lose what we have. Allow doubt, it means allow defeat. So we should not allow us to doubt. When we plan something, and when we have a clear plan, we should be sure, we should be confident of what we want, what we are looking for, better for us to sit first and make a clear plan for us not to allow doubts on the way going because that will bring sorrow that will bring sadness that will bring unconformity and will not allow us to be happy and to enjoy what we already have achieved because doubt is going to be there oppressing us now the book of Mark, the Bible, Mark 1.22, it gives us a small view of the Lord Jesus. In that say that he teach as though that one has plenty of authority. So the Lord Jesus used to teach as the one who has having authority. Not like somebody else that wants to deceive or conquer somebody's specific heart. No, but this was speak, speaking directly to his crowd as the one who has authority. That's why it was everybody touched by him. Because authority is what we have and we had to activate it and project it. So you and I, we should not doubt when we command something. We just command it and it is done. If whatever it, whether it is be done or it will be done or to be done or to be uh, uh, or, 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 or will be done this is, whether it is there or not we should not doubt we release a command we give an instruction and we wait for it the results will be there when we pray <clears throat> when we pray we should not doubt what we pray when we present ourselves before God before the Lord before our Creator, we should believe what we pray. We believe in our heart with plenty assurance, with confidence that what we are asking for, we will have. It is written in the book of James. James chapter 1 verse 6 says this, you should not doubt in your heart. Because if you doubt in your heart, you should not receive anything. You are not allowed to receive anything if you doubt in your heart. Well, it's a command. If we do not fulfill this command, well, we can have the results that we are expecting. We are not allowed to have it because 
we are forbidden by the doubt. So, in the book of Job, chapter 22, says again, you will command something, you will determinate it, something to be done, and whatever you command to be done, it shall be done. And it's something that's amazing here, and it's called my attention. In the in the, in the in the in the following verse, twenty nine and thirty says that whatsoever you ask for it, whatsoever you determine it, whatsoever you just are reaffirmed to be done, even though if you pray for somebody that that is not. Uh, 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 in the Lord's plans or, 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 or the person or is not allowed to receive something by your authority of believing by your, by your clean authority that goes projected without doubt by that that person will be healed will be rebuilt will be safe because you are just taking a decision that you want it to be done and because you are clean you are a person with plenty of authority then what you determine it to be done it shall be done because there's no doubt in there so mark eleven twenty three again say you shall pray without doubting you should not doubt but rather than to doubt you should believe in your heart that you're going to receive what you are praying for then if you believe in your heart what you're asking for whatever you're asking for it shall be given to you now is our enemy in our prayer doubt has should have not space near us no within us no among us doubt should be rebuked totally from our presence when we want to receive something when we want to command something when we want to get something done we are not allowed to have doubt so, you're going to review Mark 1.22. You see how the Jesus, the Lord Jesus, speak with authority. Then you're going to review Job 22.28. You will see how you command anything and it shall be done unto you. Then you check again James 1.6. You should ask without doubting. You cannot doubt. Then you will receive. If you doubt, you just forget it. Then you can take again. Mark eleven twenty three say that you should ask for something, no doubt in your heart. And any mountain is in the front, any kind of problem, disease, or anything that you want uh, to be removed, it shall be removed by your authority because you believe in your heart. Well, giving a different uh, 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 instructions, child, such as forgiving and all this, which is just something that you and I, we had to practice in, in, in accordance to the Lord's faithfulness and according to the Lord's holiness. And, and, and the Lord requires from us something that we call seeding and receiving. So you see something, you reap something. So you forgive, then you will be forgiven. But then you apply this term, these principles, you will have the results. But the main thing is you not doubting it. You, you are not allowed. We are not allowed to doubt. Whatsoever you determine in your heart, whatsoever you command, you decide to be done, it shall be done, but you must believe in your heart that you will have this thing done. No doubting. You should not doubt. Doubt 
you had no space with us, thou should not cohabitate it with us. So then now, when you pray, you're going to believe that you're going to receive what you are praying for and whatever you're asking for because of your determination of having it, then you will have it. But we should pray with faith. We have we must have this faith that we're going to receive and we are receiving what we are praying, then we will be praying. You pray for the sick, they will be healed. You pray for any, any situation, it will take the direction that you determined it to be done. That is the, 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 the direction that you decided to be done, to, to have it, then you will have that because you just <clears throat> a are a person with plenty of authority. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And no doubting it. Thou should have no partaking with you. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord bless you and keep you. And I see you next. No doubting.